सो हाई गाइज वेलकम टू योर पीडिया एजुकेशन सो इन दिस टूडेज वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस विद यू वन लास्ट ईयर इंटरव्यू एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड कम्युनिकेशन स्टूडेंट फॉर एग्जीक्यूटिव ट्रेनिंग पोस्ट इन एन पी सी आई एल सो वॉट इज द पर्पज ऑफ शेयरिंग दिस इंटरव्यू सी मेनी टाइम आई हैव इनकाउंटर्ड विद द स्टूडेंट विद द सेम क्वेरीज सर वी हैव प्रिपेयर द सिग्नल सिस्टम सर वी हैव प्रिपेयर द डिजिटल फंडामेंटल वी हैव प्रिपेयर द कंट्रोल इंजीनियरिंग एनालॉग बट स्टिल वी आर नॉट एबल टू रिस्पॉन्स द इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन अप टू एक्सपेक्टेशन और वी आर नॉट एबल टू समाइम अंडरस्टैंड इवन द क्वेश्चन सर वी हैव द नॉलेज बट वी आर नॉट एबल टू आंसर द क्वेश्चन इन इंटरव्यू वी आर नॉट एबल टू ट्रांसफॉर्म दैट नॉलेज इन टू इंटरव्यू so why i am basically sharing this interview experience here you will get to know if you are saying you are comfortable with edc what kind of question you can expect and what is basically the direction in which question are being asked i have told you many time drdo bark isro npcil their interviews totally different from others and totally conceptual and technical see here the derivation plays very important role you must be knowing the derivation of some important conclusion of your engineering you must be knowing if there are some standard and particular some popular relations of any of the subject of your engineering that under what condition they are derived whether they are applicable universally or there are some certain assumption with which they are applicable they want to know your behind history your behind r&d related to that concept so that should be always in your mind and while preparing for interview keep asking yourself question only then you will be able to prepare up to the real extent and you will be mentally prepared to answer the cross question if you will just see one thing okay this is the question i will read only answer that is the preparation but that is not going to help in the real sense especially for these three to four companies so this was the one interview of the student of electronics and communication he was a working professional so first they ask me about my work profile in my previous organization as i start explaining they in interact and said what are different software you have used this person was working with wipro now next question they ask immediately related to communication what is qpsk you all have studied see the question how it started what is qpsk and tell us the communication real application where qpsk is preferred means while studying in the gate you all study qpsk you all study its probability of error you all study its q function and the relation of the probability of error you all might be knowing its constellation diagram that is all up to the gate exam right but what question they are asking what is the practical application of the qpsk so while reading guys you need to ask yourself these kind of the question that is my purpose here for sharing this interview now they ask him as i was stuck they assisted me and asked me to design the constellation diagram obviously you have studied constellation diagram as i start drawing the constellation diagram they ask me what are the basis function we used while drawing the constellation diagram you might have studied the concept of orthonormality and orthogonality they want to take this went into that direction so it means guys if you have studied some plot some diagram some figure some constellation diagram then you must be very clear that what are the reference functions you have used to plot that diagram and why those functions are used see if you know these are the reference function these are the basis function then you should ask yourself next question na why these are used why not others so if you will keep on asking yourself question like this while preparing for interview definitely you will prepare really well next this person was interested in the communication do you have idea about figure of merit of satellite antenna they twisted the questions instead of asking for the antenna they just used the word satellite antenna and sometime if we know the figure of merit for antenna if somebody is asking us specifically satellite antenna then we hesitated that you know whether our answer is right because there is a term satellite used but you must be knowing that satellite antenna is also a basic antenna then if you don't have the specific answer then you can interrupt them sir right now uh, what i know about the figure of merit that is this thing i am not sure about that but if you allow can i answer like this you need to communicate right and they will definitely give you hint and assist you then 
they ask and next they ask me about low gain antenna and high gain antenna figure of merit next question is guys very important what do you understand by cmos logic you might have studied in the analog electronics design inverter using cmos and what is the role of pull of resistor and pull down resistor in the cmos here i am basically attaching one more question next question can be if we basically interchange their position we connect pull down instead of the pull up pull up instead of the pull down then will it work as an inverter yes or no if yes then explain if no then what it will be working as a when you are reading you need to ask yourself question like this then over the period of time you will be really prepared for the interview now next question they ask <clears throat> what do you understand by the serial and parallel communication how you convert serial data into parallel data so if you have studied the communication then you might be in the better position to answer this question and how they link microcontroller work on the serial communication or parallel they simply ask one questions might be this student have some project where microcontroller was used next question if you answer they will ask which board of the transmission is more effective and secure so guys if you are doing comparison you believe their comparison is only on this basis which is secure which is efficient first start with definition so if you have prepared the things like that then definitely whatever cross question they will be asking you will be in the better position to answer them next question from differential amplifier what is differential amplifier what is difference between differential amplifier and single stage common emitter configuration amplifier very good questions now how differential amplifier can help us to remove the noise is it clear or not now obviously this student told them like this it can remove the noise then you can see the cross question i answer next they ask me can you solve the same purpose by using the filter i mean if you are saying that differential amplifier is used to remove the noise i don't think that the filter can uh, filter can do this filter can also do this thing so if filter can do this differential amplifier can do this then why are opting the differential amplifier like this cross question they ask you so guys why i have shared this screen here or this question here so that you can take some reference idea and think like this mindset actually i need to go and prepare see interview preparation is not something very difficult you need to prepare whatever time you are investing you need to put that in the right direction and you must be always involved in the preparation involved in the preparation means you need to ask at every stage of your reading at every stage of your learning you need to ask yourself question what is figure of merit if you are studying this is the figure of merit why we are studying the figure of merit what is uses of this if somebody tell me that figure of merit for this is this one what information i can interpret from there so as a engineer you need to ask yourself this question if you don't know answer then you need to go and find the answer for this and if you follow this process during this process if you go to do r and d about the answer of one question i am sure you will be getting answers to many other questions also if you follow this entire process you know ultimately many question will come clear to you so guys preparing for npcil is not that much difficult but whatever point i shared here with you please focus on those and keep those point on the mind so your pda education is always guiding mentoring student for the interview so we have snap mock we have mock interview we have the project interview where you can share your project with us and we will be asking some of the question related to your project abstract around those question you can prepare your btech project and same for your working professional so if you really want to crack this position we have very good 10 to 15 days which is you know really good number of days if we want to put our effort seriously so we wish you all the best for those who are selected and don't miss this opportunity start preparing from today only and join hand with us thank you